I think the European Union at the moment is right to keep talking to uh, the Yanukovych uh, government. He has time and again said that um, Ukraine and that he personally wants to sign the association agreement as long as um, the negative aspects thereof, you know, the potential trade diversion in the, uh, in the short term after uh, entry into force of the association agreement, uh, can be offset by uh, extra financial and technical assistance by the European Union, for example, or potentially by softer terms of the agreement itself. The latter seems um, impossible. I mean, to renegotiate after years of having been in that endeavor already, uh, the agreement uh, is, is probably wishful thinking on his side and um, is probably also excluded from the European Union's uh, point of view. Uh, on the other hand, um, Fühle, Commissioner Fühle has already said that you know the European Union is able and willing to set aside some extra financial and technical assistance in order to uh, to offset you know the uh, the negative impact of potential negative impact of the uh, entry into force of the association agreement that is positive whether that will be enough in order to uh, to convince um, Yanukovych who has his you know room for maneuver for maneuvering of course very much restricted because of you know the mass protests um, whether that will be enough is uh, is a different matter. What you what you see is that the European Union increasingly insists on its conditionality, political conditionality towards uh, Ukraine, and in that respect, the list grows longer. Um, if and when you know the uh, the protesters are being um, are being forcibly removed by you know the stormtroops of uh, of Yanukovych, so. Um, I think for the moment the European Union is right to keep up the pressure and to make sure that uh, Yanukovych does not cause any harm uh, to, to his own citizens. That is right. Um, the European Union has also rightfully you know, projected uh, essential financial and technical assistance to offset the negative impact of uh, the short-term implementation of the association agreement. What else it can do remains to be seen as the scenario develops, and one can, you know, one, one can dwell on the number of scenarios which um, which lay open uh, for, you know, Ukraine in the um, in the short to midterm future, whether that is a peaceful resolution of the standoff, a crackdown, and a solidification of the uh, of a Russian-backed regime, whether that is. Um, a closer association with Russia through its customs union, a decision which might be taken on the 17th of December, but there too I think the margin of maneuvering for Yanukovych has been severely reduced uh, because of the, uh, the protests. Um, and whatever other you know, options there may be ahead of the um, elections for the Rada in 2014 and the presidential elections in 2015. So that's a bit speculative. Um, and the European Union should, of course, redefine its position according to uh, the scenario as we will see it play out. Thank you.